Hi, I'm Natalie, the Cosmo Curl Ambassador here in Dubai. Today I'm going to be showing you how to use our new Cosmo Curl Rods. So this is a great technique for those curly clients who are just wanting a completely different look without using heat. Um, but it's specifically tailored for our transitioning curly clients when you're making that journey from heat damaged and chemically processed to your natural curls. So today I'm going to be applying the Cosmo Curl Rods on my lovely model Monet. So as you can see, Monet is transitioning. She's making the journey from heat damaged on the ends and straight to her natural curls. So you can just see through the underneath, um, there's a big difference, there's a big contrast with her natural. So today's technique is gonna give her an even curly look. For best results, the hair needs to be damp. If freshly washed, then squeeze excess moisture from hair using our Cosmo Curl microfiber towel. If you are starting with dry hair, then spray down with water. Avoid starting with soaking wet hair as it will take much longer to dry. I'm going to start at the back and work up. Start by taking a one inch to one and a half inch section. For a looser curl, take bigger sections. For tighter, take them smaller. Smooth the section out and make sure it's damp. Apply a small amount of desired styling products. A cocktail of curl cream and styling gel is recommended for hold. Hold rod at the scalp area and start to wrap hair section around from root to tip, making sure to keep the rod tightly in place. To fasten the rod in place, fold both ends until secure. Make sure the end of your hair is neatly tucked in before fastening. Rods can be left to air dry or can be slept in overnight. Make sure to use the Cosmo Curl pillowcase to minimize frizz. To speed up drying time, dry using the Cosmo Curl diffuser. Make sure hair is completely dry before removing the rods as removing them while still wet will break the shape and it will become frizzy. To remove, carefully unwind each rod then gently break up each section to give a more natural look. To add more volume, break up each section into a smaller curl and shake hair out upside down. For a longer lasting look, gently spray mid lengths and ends with hairspray. Ta-da! This is our end result. Now you can get curly hair while you're transitioning. Well, hey, how do you feel? It's so different. I love it. I love the results, thank you.